Ola Aries Sun Capricorn Moons, welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2021 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, lay out the main cards, and then take a quick look at your 2022. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deep for interpretation with clarifiers and a card of advice okay um <laughs> below me is in the description box i'll be dividing the year up into four different um sectors so aries sun capricorn moons the business moguls that you are you can be shrewd and to the point when it comes to attaining your goals sober responsible and wise beyond your years you have a distinct advantage because you have the courage to take the risks that, tends to, that tend to hold others back. You're most comfortable in positions of leadership and many will follow you because you take this role seriously. Your Capricorn moon holds back your Aries impulses and your Aries bravado talks your Capricorn into going for it. It's quite the balance. One part is theory, the other part is practice. Um, you're great when it comes to responding to a crisis because you take quick action while maintaining your cool. Fiercely independent and self-sufficient, lovers and friends can sometimes feel second fiddle to your successful endeavors. Try to be more mindful and compassionate in regards to their needs. You will need them when you slip into those depressive states you occasionally find yourself in. If you don't work your own way out of it by finding the next project to keep you busy and productive. Alrighty, so we have the cards out for you. Also, make sure you check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Let's uh, get to your reading. So it looks like in January, February, March, what I'm sensing is that you're not putting up with anybody's crap. Or <laughs> there is somebody in particular, and I feel like you're just kind of confronting them and saying, listen, what are you here for? What is your deal? What do you want? Um, and I don't think that you're going to put up with any of their BS. So they might be able to tell you whatever, um, but you can see right through them. And I almost feel as though you're saying, look, here's your time to kind of come clean um, because I don't have time for this. And they might be trying to manipulate your emotions or tug your heartstrings or, you know, move you this way or that way and a whole bunch of other nonsense. And again, you're being very straightforward with them. Um, you're, you're taking your heart and your feelings entirely out of the situation and you're using a really strong independent head to and brain to kind of judge them okay so you're demanding total honesty from them if they aren't going to give that to you then you're kind of telling them they need to be on their way now this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship obviously this can be any kind of connection um you know a business connection or family or friends or what have you uh, it looks like what happens in April, May, June is you kick them to the curb. Um, I don't know if they didn't take you seriously or, or what, but the Ten of Swords in the upright indicates an ending. Now, it probably didn't end well. I'm feeling more so for them, um, but it was unpleasant. I mean, any kind of ending isn't going to be, you know, wonderful. Nobody is skipping and like clicking their heels, or at least I hope not, um, you know, whether you're the person doing it or the person receiving it. So, and I feel like it happens very suddenly you just kind of decide I don't have time for this anymore I need to end this cycle um, it could have been because of, and I feel like it's because somebody lied there was betrayal kind of involved with it so you're feeling like you got stabbed in your back 10 times um, and this is why it had to end because you told them they they didn't they weren't forthright and you decided you didn't need that in your life now it's a good thing that you get them out of the way because in July, August, September, I see connection coming in for you. This is somebody who is your person, somebody who you see eye to eye with, somebody who mirrors your soul um, and all that good stuff. So whatever term you assign to that, whether it's your person, the one, twin flame, soulmate, yada, 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 all the terms that I don't prescribe to, I believe in the one you choose. Um, but you're making this connection. And this is really good because um, you have you came out of this, so now you have somebody that's uplifting, um, somebody that feeds your soul, somebody you're harmonious with, and somebody you can consider um, committing to on a deep level. Again, doesn't have to be romantic, could be a business partnership or just a really good friend, okay? Because um, it is a general reading. 
And as you um, get into October, November, December, I see you deciding in regards to a practical matter. Um, I feel like you're going back and forth with a lot of choices and a lot of options. It could be in um, relation to this. Um, it can also be, or I'm feeling that it could be, um, you're trying to decide whether you have room for this connection here. So I feel like you have a lot going on um, in your life in October, November, December. Maybe you're busy, it's the holidays, I get it. And you're kind of juggling and you're saying to yourself, do I really have the time to, to devote to a friendship, a business, a business partnership, a lover, or what have you. Um, and you're trying to kind of balance it out, um, I feel. So, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're making good effort um, to actually do that at the end of the year. Um, and of course, we can't see how that turns out because we're not doing 2023 yet. But so that's what I'm seeing. We might get more with the clarifiers. So that's what I have for you. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link in the description box where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation. And I'll also pull a card of advice for 2022. Check out my 2021 Sun Moon reading in my playlist see if they rang true for you check me out on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise aries sun capricorn moon best of luck to you in 2022 adios from veronica garnett bye